Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield. Joining me now is Ronnie Size. Ronnie, welcome to the show. It's good yeah, to have you here, man. man. Now, your uh, first album on Talking Loud is called New Forms, and everybody sees it. It's Ronnie Size represented represent as a collective. Can you explain that to yeah. everybody? Yeah, the mm -hmm. whole project is like a, is an offshoot of what we do, or what we've been doing on our own independent labels for the last, say, four or five years. And, you know, being part of the major label, Talking Loud, they approached us and gave us the opportunity to be able to say, you know, let us do something different to be able, uh, you know, to come part of the major system and to put a project together to do videos, to release an album, to do live shows, travel around and show people another aspect of this music, you know what I mean? It's a new music and, you know, the collective comes together, we're eight strong on stage and each person's kind of got their own individual charisma. I mean, we use a drummer, we use a bass player and there's like myself, Crust, Dai, and right. Sav who are computing and also two front people like Onnelly, and Dynamite, who kind of like the vocalist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. So yeah. we kind of all come together to do this, but the reason why we're a collective or a unit, which I say, is because we all got our own individual kind of things going on outside of this project. Right, and then, so everybody does things on their own, like some other, like, yeah, doing yeah, other yeah. records, performing, okay, so white label records, doing the whole deal, right? Yeah, the thing is, we've got our own independent record labels. I mean, we work with um, you know, Brian G and Jumping Jack Frost, right. who run the records, and then we've got my own... Uh, record label, which is uh, Full Cycle, which right. myself and DJ Cross, we both um, work towards that, and it's come straight out of Bristol, so... Right, on oh, Bristol, what a great team, too. Let's check out your video right now. We're going to see your latest video from New Forms. It's Ronnie Size, represent with Brown Paper Bag on 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinville, and I'm here with Ronnie Size. Now, Ronnie, let's uh, talk a bit about the video you did for Brown Paper Bag with uh, Nick Gordon, right? Now, there's yeah, like a yeah. A process called a time warp composite, something like that. You know, it's about um, the whole concept of the video is that we're in a, a place in, in Toronto and we're trying to get to the airport, but we're late. So what happens is we're trying to stop time so we can move through the city. You know, videos are kind of important to us. You know, because we want to try and reflect the music, try to reflect where we're coming from, and you know, you know, is is a learning experience. We want to make our own videos, direct our own videos. So working with people like Nick Gordon. You know, gives us a you know a direct insight into how videos are put together and storyboarding, etc. And on this video, we learned about you know shooting with blue screens and you know different energies, trying to you know, tell a story, trying to get a theme together, making things kind of just fit with the music. And that's that's quite hard because it's a new music, so you're going to have to take chances and try to do you know new scripts and new elements in in, in actual filming. And and this video, you know. No, you know, I love this video. I love the whole concept about it, and you know, it helps us be able to look at what we've done and try to focus on our performances. You know, we're not actors, but we feel we've got like a, you know, something which we can, you know, a performance that we can put across, which people can say, yeah, yeah, these guys got something there. Yeah, they get to they see a representation there. Mm. You know, which is great. We'll talk more with Ronnie when 120 minutes returns. Right now, we got to check out the top 10 singles in America in alternative music this week. We'll share the fall right there. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield with my special guest, Ronnie Size. Now, Ronnie, you've done a lot of remixing as well. You've done stuff for U2, Sam McLaughlin, Sneaker Pimps. Do you enjoy that aspect of doing things as well? You know, I'm a producer, and you know, I like to make music. I've, you know, I've been wanting to make music for years. You know what I mean? It's always been, you know, part of me. And remixing is a part of producing, and it allows you to be able to experiment. It gives you like a license to to manipulate other people's music, you know what I mean? Rather yeah. than going out and sampling it and then, you know, getting taken to court for raw Yeah, right. You know what I mean? So, yeah. it's more the case of trying to, um, you know, get yourself into other areas, you know, to, so people can hear your music. You know, there's people who switch off. As soon as they hear the words jungle, drum and bass, they're like, nah, that's not for me. But, you know, by putting your music through other directions, you know what I mean? There's people out there who, you know, would like the music if they heard it, so, when it does get to them through via remixes, they feel safe that way, then they can hear what's going on and they start to think, okay, well, this is new, this is different. And learn to become more open to new sounds. Definitely. And having new sounds break yeah, through, Yeah, definitely. Right? Plus, you know, it helps to us to be able to, you know, get money to buy, you know... Um, your, your own instruments and equipment. Right? The sources, you know what I'm saying? So it's all part of the process, you know what I mean? Absolutely, and it's great that it's working out well. Right now we have the latest from Daft Punk, speaking of which, great band, from the album Homework. 
Revolution 909 in 120 minutes. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinto. Still here with Ronnie Sides. Ronnie, the Bristol scene has really exploded. You're from Bristol. I mean, everything from, you know, obviously, you know, massive attack, Shrinky Porter said, you know, that. How do you feel about the Bristol scene? If it's, is it one of the healthiest places right now coming out of England? Yeah, Bristol, to me, Bristol is kind of what makes Bristol is that it's untouched. I mean, most major cities or most cities have got like an industry which, you know, kind of helps to make things happen, whereas Bristol's kind of really untouched and people make things happen themselves. You know, people like the masses and the trickies, you know what I'm saying? They had to get up and go and do their thing and, you know, they, they learn from that as well. And us, us, we had to you know, build our own, you know, foundations, and we try to make this foundation sustain. The music at the moment is, you know, a good vibe there at the moment. There's a good party scene, there's a lot of clubs with good license. You know, a lot of things are happening, a lot of promotions, you know, and there's a lot of people now making music out of their bedrooms, because, you know, that's where this thing kind of started, like, in the bedrooms, kids, like, hitting buttons. Yeah, DIY, really do it yourself. Yeah, definitely, you know what I mean? Like, two, two decks and a, and a mixer, microphone, the same formula, and you know, it's been adapted now to having, you know, your desk, your computer, yeah. you know, your batch of breaks, and, you know, man's all making beats now, and that's good. It's all coming across. That's really cool. Now, there's a movie uh, my friend Scott Lyons and uh, Rachel are doing that you're part of on drum and bass and jungle stuff called Lost in Bass that's coming out, and you're, you've been featured prominently in that film. Um, mm -hmm. Are people getting a, a lot of, it's getting a lot of attention finally, don't you think, drum and bass music? Yeah, definitely. The whole movement's been working towards, you know, I mean, this point for a long time. There's so many different divisions of this music yeah. and people, DJing, you know, working towards building something, you know what I'm saying? We learn a lot from other scenes going on around us and, you know, it's good that now that, you know, London and surrounding areas have got something which they can hold on to. So, yeah, this is ours and man's all rolling up beats. You know, you've got Swedish drum and bass, German drum and bass, you've got, you know, American jungle drum and bass. It's all growing. There's so many DJs. Yeah. Things are happening. Yeah, it's great. Now, Ronnie, I want to thank you for coming by. Mm -hmm. It's good to have you here. Everybody check out his album. It's called New Forms. It's one of the Spin Magazine's top ten albums of the year. Critics love it, and I think you will as well. Without a question, check it out. Now, right now, we have the latest from the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones from the Meet the Deedles soundtrack. It's Wrong Thing, Right Then. I'm 120 minutes. Ronnie, thanks for coming by. Good to have you, man.